Greetings and blessings whenever and wherever, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today, of course, has been my birthday, still is my birthday for a few more hours. Uh, but I've had a lot of time to think about it, and as it's been on my heart, of course, the point of celebrating my birthday is actually being able to offer a gift to someone else. This gift, of course, being the free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. And for some who already know or understand, you know, Jesus gave his life on the cross for us as an atonement for our sins. But a lot of people don't want to accept first that we are a sinner. Denial is usually the first inclination um, that we're resistant. But when we pray and we hope for something good, it really makes more sense to put our faith and to put our trust into a loving God who created us, who saw that, hey, something went wrong, and who came up with a plan to save and redeem us from sin and from ourselves. You know, and in this plan, he decided to send his son to he himself become flesh, to become a son of man, as well as the son of God. So with this atonement that Jesus has given us, his blood shed on the cross, we are offered a free gift of salvation. And to those of us that hear his word and begin to understand it through faith, we acknowledge that there are things that we can't answer. But Jesus is where our hope is going to be laid. Because no other God can claim what he claims. And no other God has given his life for his creation. So that they could receive a free gift of eternal life beyond this one. So today I'd like to extend that gift and that offer to anybody who's listening. You know the song says, when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be. So when we get there, I'd love to rejoice with you. Maybe you meet me at the gates. Maybe I meet you there. Maybe we're all raptured up in the sky together. But the point is that we will have the rest of eternity to glorify our Father in heaven and to fellowship with one another. You know, and it's pretty simple. There are just a few things that we do when we say, Lord, we're going to accept you. We must first admit, yes, I am a sinner, because the Bible tells us for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But the Bible also tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of life. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And it also tells us that we must tell one another so that through the teaching, people come to faith and understanding and, and accept the Lord as their Savior. But ultimately it, ultimately, it tells us that we must confess these things with our mouth. So today I would hope and I would pray that you would just take a moment and sit with the Lord and, and say to Him, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I know that's why things go wrong. I inherited the curse of sin. But Lord, I know you gave your life so that I could receive a free gift. And Lord, today I ask you to forgive me of my sins, to come into my heart and save me, to write my name in your book of life. And the Lord will fulfill his promise. You know, he will fill you with his Holy Spirit. I do recommend, of course, being baptized afterwards as your profession of faith and obedience to the Lord, but most importantly, so that you can receive his Holy Spirit. And it is getting dark, guys, as the evening draws on. But before we wrap this up, of course, a final prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you today with a thankful heart, thankful for the life that you have given me. Although there is pain, there are tears, there is sin, and I am a sinner, Lord. I know that you fulfill your promise and that this life after will be eternally spent in your presence and worshiping you in your glory. Lord, I also know that you are where we draw our strength from. So, Lord, I choose life today. I choose to live my life to honor you 
And I pray those that hear this would do the same. I pray they would accept you into their heart, Lord. And I pray that they would tell others about you. Lord, again, I am so thankful, as always, for your grace, your mercy, your blessings, and, of course, your gift of salvation. And in your name I pray, dear Lord Jesus, these things as I speak in faith. I do in faith. Amen. All right, guys. Have a good night. Whenever, wherever. God bless.